Well, I mean, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't ideal, but it, it worked for a while. Every week we were certain that next week, obviously, something amazing was going to walk in the door. You know? And we spent the last money that we had um, looking at studios in Melody Maker and finding rendezvous studios because it had loads of equipment. We didn't have any equipment. I think that's it. Yeah, oh, there it is. That used to be rendezvous, rendezvous studios. This was owned by John Radcliffe. Yeah. He was the first to actually put his money where his mouth was. And we had free access to the studio all night. So most of the songs uh, were demoed here. We didn't really uh, go into this for the success to begin with. Uh, the success was a necessary dream. They kept saying for years, like, oh, when you get famous, it's going to be so busy, you're going to wish for this time we were. All the glass came, came crashing down. It didn't hurt or anything, it was just kind of fun. We, we, we really had no money, we had so little, that we uh, we were shifting one light bulb from one room to the next. Well, I mean, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't ideal, but it, it worked for a while. Every week we were certain that next week, obviously, something amazing was going to walk in the door, you know. And we spent the last money that we had um, looking at studios in Melody Maker and finding run of the studios because it had loads of equipment. We didn't have any equipment. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, there it is. That used to be Rendezvous, Rendezvous Studios. This was owned by John Radcliffe. Yeah. He was the first to actually put his money where his mouth was. And we had free access to the studio all night. So most of the songs uh, were demoed here. We didn't really uh, go into this for the success to begin with. Uh, the success was a necessary Dream. They kept saying for years, like, oh, when you get famous, it's going to be so busy, you're going to wish for this time. And we were going crazy waiting for something to happen.